Hey everybody, today we are talking on Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. Inside the 24-hour Las Vegas wedding chapel where Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker secretly tied the knot at 1.30 in the morning. Let's watch further details in this video, hit like and share with your friends. Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker surprised everyone by saying, I do, at the One Love Wedding in Las Vegas, Nevada at 1.30 am on Monday. The impromptu ceremony, which occurred hours after the 2022 Grammy Awards, took place in front of an Elvis impersonator in a room with white walls adorned with pictures of orchids and matching drapery. The duo exchanged vows under an altar decorated with silk roses with a wood, love, sign. The priciest package includes a limo, photo shoot, a wedding concierge, choice of love song, a fresh rose bouquet and garter belt for the bride, wedding video and a rose petal entrance. It was a private early morning affair, according to Source, who reported that the pair did not allow the venue to take any photos and opted to bring their own photographer and security. Insiders close to the couple initially said they came prepared with a marriage license which they presented to the chapel's owner who also served as a witness. However, a source at the chapel later told that they did not actually get a license and therefore the marriage is not legal. There is no record of the couple applying or receiving a marriage license at Clark County. But before exclusive details, please subscribe our channel, hit bell icon, and I'm sure it helps you to watch what we are watching. The website for the One Love Wedding Chapel also explicitly states, a legal marriage license must be obtained prior to the marriage ceremony. The couple said to be planning several other wedding celebrations to follow. Of the nuptials, One Love Wedding Chapel owner Marty Frierson told People, I didn't know who it was until they pulled up. I advertise as 24 hours but they wanted to make sure I was still there. They paid and they requested Elvis Presley, that was mandatory. I called back five minutes later and was like, I got an Elvis, and there they were. They came, got married, tossed the bouquet in the driveway, and danced to Elvis, Frierson said. They showed a lot of love and had a lot of fun. Frierson added, there was a lot of that, kissing and hugging. They barely came up for air. They just seemed totally in love. He also revealed that Kravis' wedding party consisted of four people in total, with guests documenting the happy occasion on their phones. They all had iPhones, taking pictures and videos from every angle, he revealed. I don't know if they were the friends or their social media team. They filmed everything from the time they walked in, to the time they walked out. The vows, the kiss, the rose bouquet toss, the dancing. I usually take pictures for the chapel but they wanted to handle it all themselves. The One Love Wedding Chapel is a family-owned 24-hour wedding venue that is in downtown Las Vegas that is a six-mile drive from where the Grammys took place at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. It's been reported that the happy couple had been working out a prenup but nothing had been signed prior to Monday morning's Las Vegas wedding, according to sources. However, a prenup may be irrelevant if the couple did not obtain a marriage license in Nevada. Without a marriage license, the union would not be legally binding. Insiders told the publication that the plan for now is to do a post-up which should be handled without issue as Courtney is worth around $65 million while Travis is around $50 million. The site compared the couple to Courtney's sister Kim Kardashian and Kanye West as they noted that prenups and post-ups at that level of wealth typically separate earnings during the marriage meaning what they bring into the marriage will stay as separate property. The marriage marks Courtney's first and Travis's third. Their children did not seem to have been in attendance as Courtney shares three children son Mason, daughter Penelope, and son Rain, with longtime ex-boyfriend Scott Disick. Thanks for watching and thanks for your precious time. We hope that you found this story interesting. Please comment your views down in the comment section. Share this story with your friends and we'll see you next time.